On our survey trip to Japan, there was a lot of things that I hadn't had a chance to cover. And one of the things I wanted to tell you was actually the very first day when we left out of Hartsfield Jackson Airport heading to Japan. It was amazing what God had done. We had some friends of ours give us some buddy passes so that we would be able to get to Japan for half price. And we really appreciate them doing that. With the buddy passes, you have to fly standby. The list completely filled up, and by the board that was in the airport, it was saying that we weren't going to be able to get on. And Jonathan and I started getting worried. Then they came across the intercom and announced to everyone that was flying standby that they weren't going to be able to fly. And Jonathan and I were just crushed. There were so many things that were relying on us getting there right away. So we were getting really nervous and uh, we started to think about plans and things that we might do uh, to be able to get to Japan the next day, switch to another airline, something, whatever we could do to get to Japan because all we knew is Man, we want to get to Japan as soon as possible. So we sat there for a little bit. Jonathan and I began to talk, and the Lord brought something back to my memory uh, from a long time ago, and I want to share that story with you real quick. Several years ago, there was a little boy who had tonsillitis all the time, so much so that his doctor wanted him to have his tonsils removed. Well, this little boy did not want to have his tonsils removed at all. Every time the family got together to pray, this boy would pray and say, God, please don't let my tonsils get taken out. This boy continued praying like that for several weeks until the surgery came up. And in the waiting room, this little boy is praying, God, please don't let my tonsils get taken out. And his father overhears his son praying this and he looks to him and, and trying to encourage him. And the father says, Son, it's, it's a little late. We're, we're here. This is going to happen. Uh, it's not going to be bad. Just, it, it'll be okay. And the, the son goes, okay, Dad, I, I understand. And then he turns and he says, dear God, please don't let my tonsils get taken out. And the boy just keeps praying. Well, they call the boy and he heads back to the operating room. Uh, they have him get in the chair. The whole time the kid's praying, dear God, please don't let my tonsils get taken out. And I mean, he's in the operating chair. It's gonna happen, right? They took a, uh, a blood test of the boy before they had the tonsils removed. And it turns out the kid had a vitamin K deficiency and he couldn't get his tonsils taken out that day. And that little boy went home and as a 20 year old man, he still has his tonsils. And if you haven't figured it out, it's me. And so I shared that story with Jonathan and we just said to the Lord, while we're sitting there at the airport, we said, God, you've done some amazing things before. If you can keep tonsils in a little boy's throat so that he doesn't have to have surgery, then surely you can get us onto this flight. And so we prayed and we said, God, we trust you. We know that you have a purpose and a plan. And even if we don't get on this plan, we know that you'll work it out for good. And just in a few minutes, they called our names to get on that airplane. And I just wanted to share that with you. I thought that was amazing. And just on the very first day, God was doing something extraordinary so that we could know that God was in it and that He wants to use us. And every step of the way along this deputation trail, I've seen God do some amazing things. Since we've gotten back from Japan, almost every church that we've been in for a missions conference has said they would uh, be voting to take us on. Yesterday we had a church say they, were, they, they voted and took us on. So we are excited to get back to Japan. And I just wanted to share that story with you today. And I hope it was in a blessing and encouragement to you.